I think stacking is a is a critical part of many crypto ecosystems, stacks included, obviously. And this is what I think it gets people excited in general about smart contracts is you can get yields, right? People love airdrops, yields, NFTs. This is what gets retail going and stacking is, is uh, core and essential to that. What we've seen before, uh, especially from an exchange point of view, uh, users or customers that come in, DCA into the market, uh, folks that are regular retail investors that just want to buy and hold tokens. Stacks gives that exciting ability, as well as obviously the smart contract ability to Bitcoin it adds a second layer. This, uh, you know, Stacks 2.1, if you will, creates a much smoother experience, interop experience between Bitcoin and that smart contract layer on top of it, uh, namely through stacking. And from our perspective, uh, uh, Ken talked about it a little bit. Basically, when you stack, when you're uh, putting your money down and saying this is the right chain and it's doing the right things, as Ken said, you have a cool down period at the end of the two weeks. So this is it is a very unique thing to the proof of transfer protocol that Stacks has. So let's say I want to stack for one cycle. I would stack before for a two-week cycle. I would redeem my coins, my Stacks, and my Bitcoin rewards. Uh, on, you know, after two weeks, call it day 14.1, right? I get my uh, my coins back. Then I have to wait 14 days because that second cycle started when I redeemed my coins from the first cycle. So I can only start stacking in cycle three, okay? I stack for five cycles. I miss six, the sixth one. I stack for seven cycles. I miss the eighth one and so on and so forth. Continuous stacking allows me to, as Ken mentioned, generate more yield because I'm not missing. There's no cool down two week period. And so it creates a very seamless user experience in order to stack and restack and get more rewards. And frankly, more flexible uh, uh, period because you don't have to think, well, should I stack for one cycle or should I stack for 12 cycles? A lot of customers that we've seen um, come into this decision fatigue of, well, I really want to get the rewards, but I don't know what's going to happen to the price. Right, so I don't want to be susceptible to price volatility. So I'm not. I'm afraid of locking something up for 12 cycles, which is 24 weeks. That's a long time, right? That's more or less half a year. Uh, and maybe I want to do it for two cycles. Continuous stacking removes that decision point. It makes the whole chain much more seamless. Yeah, 